Good morning, everyone. So uh, on the first part, we have been completed the types of data and things. So we will deep dive into the module two of uh, the foundational part of it and uh, the details of the types of data, the roles and responsibilities, what we can achieve through data. Then we will move ahead with uh, the different data roles. Uh, job roles, the tasks and tools for the database administration. And way forward with the relational data in today's class. So today's class will be mostly into the theoretical part of it. Then uh, tomorrow we will start uh, exploring, uh, implementing this uh, theories into the Azure platform for creating relational database, uh, implementing relational database, types of relational data, how to implement all kind of data, what we have been already studied, structured, semi-structured, unstructured data and things. So understand the theory part very well. If you have any kind of doubt, feel free uh, to ask me on that point because uh, if we don't get cleared on the basic and fundamental parts of the Azure data things or implementation things using various types, then in the coming way, we will fetch some problem tomorrow to getting understandable what are the things. So, uh, So the basic learning objectives of that, that uh, what are the data job roles? Because uh, in the exam perspective, uh, there were some questions comes in the paper that they describe some of the work around and description of some jobs. And we have to face that what kind of job roles are there. And then the next part are like, uh, what are the common tasks uh, associated with this data roles and what are the specific tools used for these kind of data roles. So over the last decade, the amount of data that systems and devices generate, any kind of systems it can be, has increased in a polynomial way. Because uh, the increase of this data every second, every moment, new technologies, new job roles, and approaches towards working with data has been synergically increased with affecting professionals. Data is everywhere, starting from a simple job role to other jobs. So uh, in this chapter, we'll follow the roles in data, common tools, database administrator use, different type of data studios, SQL server management studio, Azure portal to manage Azure SQL database, common tools that data engineering people require to work on, common tools for the data analyst people, and data visualizations tools. So coming to the part of the roles in the world of data, there is wide variety of roles involved in managing, controlling, and using data. Some roles are business oriented, some roles are involved more into engineering part or research part, and some are the hybrid roles that combine different aspects of data management. In this part, we have been mostly focused on some of the fixed role, which is very common nowadays, like data analyst, data scientist, data engineers, machine learning engineers, and site reliability engineers or MLOPS engineers, what is naturally termed in as per the Microsoft services and database administrator. So each of these role may define 
differently in different organizations but as per the roles described it is encapsulate the most common division of labor and responsibilities according to the world of data so we'll start from the part of the database administrator the term administrator comes from the part of the admin so in simpler term an azure database administrator is responsible for the end to end process of operational aspects of data starting from the part of designing the database manage all the kind database access management maintenance assigning permission for the rest of the user creating backups copies of the data and restore the data is specifically the four major component for any database administrator when it comes to the azure database administrator perspective on the premises and on the cloud based database the solutions built on the azure data services and the sql server they are responsible for overall optimizations and providing solution based on their stakeholders of implementing policies managing tools recovery backup clearance and above all maintaining the azure synapse analytics part also so rather than the uh, specific role description the examples for that like uh, for most of the banks insurance companies hospitals or any kind of organization database administrator oversee the creation maintenance and security of database basically it is controlled by server and handled by some admin people it admin people who manage all kind of data products software permissions and regarding else so this is a basic implementation of uh, a data through my sql perspective data are connected in type of integer characters in means different kind of and over here it's like the fields of mention for data for some specific id of a person name of a person surname age email phone number and this is like a primary means set up of primary key and the foreign key what we have been described so it can be auto incremented and non auto incremented these steps of the codes will follow up in our next class when we will start implementing using sql into the relational database server